Good morning. Good morning. My name is Ginger. I'm going to be your nurse today. Can you please tell me your name and date of birth? Kata White, 215-19XX. Excellent. I'm going to go ahead and close this curtain for privacy. So, Kata, I'm here today to do an examination of your muscles, musculoskeletal system mm -hmm. on your upper extremities. Okay. Um, do you have any questions for me about that? No. Okay. And um, I'm going to go ahead and give you this gown. I'm not using any additional equipment. Take that. And I'm going to ask you some questions to start. Okay. Do you have any overall pain? No. Okay. Um, more specifically, have you had any pain or are you having any pain in your joints? No. Have you noticed any stiffness or limited uh, range of motion movement in your joints? No. And have you had any pain in your muscles? No. Okay. I'm going to go ahead and first have you stand up. Okay. And I'm going to have you do a couple... Uh, different forms of walking for me. Okay. So if you could go ahead and just take five or six steps forward. And now if you could walk back on your toes. And now if you can walk away from me on your heels. And now if you can walk towards me doing a tightrope motion where you're gonna put your heel to your toes. Excellent. I can go ahead and have a seat again. So I noticed that your gait is smooth. You're able to wear your um, weight bear when you do that. Your posture is erect and um, your feet were not in any uh, abnormal positions while you were walking. So we're going to move on to your spine. And what I'm going to do is have you just turn to the side here. And since we're doing upper extremity, I'm going to be focusing on your cervical spine and your thoracic spine. So starting with inspection, I don't notice um, a change in your, your shoulder position, meaning like the size, there isn't any asymmetry, your um, spine itself is midline, there's no signs of kyphosis or scoliosis, and uh, I don't notice any erythema and no deformities. So now I'm going to palpate your spine. My hands are pulled, I apologize. So starting with your um, upper area, I'm just going to palpate right down the center. It also feels midline upon palpation, and I don't notice any deformities. There isn't any increase in warmth. Um, and then I'm going to palpate um, your paraspinal muscles just around the spine. Same thing. I don't feel any deformities. I don't notice any increase in warmth, and I don't feel any masses under my hands. Do you have any pain or tenderness while I'm performing those positions? No. Great. So I'm going to have you switch your feet back around. And we're just going to do some different range of motion exercises with your upper cervical neck. Okay. okay. So if you could put your chin to your chest, this is flexion. Can you look up at the ceiling? This is extension. If you could come back to midline, can you turn your head to the window? So we're doing a lateral rotation left and then turn your head towards the wall. That's lateral rotation right. Then if you could keep your shoulders down and I want you to bend your head towards your shoulder, that's lateral bend left. And then if you could do it to the other side, lateral bend right. Okay, good, you have full range of motion in those six areas. I'm not gonna test strength in that particular um, region of your body. So let's move on to your shoulders. So first I'm gonna do inspection again. So if I was able to see your uh, joint capsule area, I don't notice any erythema, size looks good, there's symmetry between the two, and I don't notice any uh, deformities. Yeah. So now I'm going to palpate your uh, shoulders to see if I feel anything. So any pain or tenderness while I do this? Okay, so I don't notice any deformities or asymmetry, size is good, and I don't have any increased warmth. So now we're going to do um, range of motion in your shoulders. There's going to be six movements that we're going to do. Okay? So if you first can raise your hands up. So this is flexion. Put your arms back down straight like this. That's extension. And then if you do slightly back behind you, that's called hyperextension. So move back to midline. Now I'm going to have you, I'm going to stand forward so there's some room. I want you to move your arms out to the side like this. So this is abduction, 
have them come back to midline and cross in front of you. That's adduction. And then I have two more movements for you to do. The first one, I want you to take your hands and put them back under your arms like this. This is internal rotation. And then the second one is I want you to bring them up over your head and do it like this behind your head. And this is external rotation. So any pain when you're doing that? Okay, so good range of motion in all of those areas. Now I'm gonna have you repeat those motions, but I'm gonna put some strength next to them. All right, so if you could put your arms out, I want you to lift up against me, good. Pull down against me, good. I want you to push out, good, push in. And then I want you to put your hands back in this motion. And I want you to go ahead and try to pull your arms back out as if you're, nope. I want you to try to pull your arms like you're going this way back out of it. Okay, go ahead. <laughs> Good. And then I pull your arms up and then I want you to push down. Good. All right. So you have a five out of five strength. So you have great strength in all of your upper um, shoulders area. Elbows. So with elbows, I'm going to look at the same thing. So I'm looking to see if there's any erythema, how the size is, if there's any asymmetry, any deformities, I don't notice any. So now we're gonna move on to palpation. So when I palpate your elbows, do you have any pain or tenderness? Ooh, great. Uh, size still feels the same and there isn't anything asymmetrical. There's no deformities, warmth is, is good. Um, so now we're gonna do some movements. So I'm gonna have you put your um, elbows out straight like this. Pull, good, that's extension. Now I want you to pull in like this. That is uh, flexion. <laughs> and then if you just relax your arms down like this, put them back into this motion. And um, this, in this position is called supination. They're like I'm pulling a bowl of soup. And then I'm gonna have you turn over like this. This is pronation. So now that we've done those motions, I'm going to test your strength on all of them. So put your arms out again. I want you to bend your elbows up towards your head. Good, push down. Good. And now what I'm going to have you do is put your hands in this motion and I want you to try to turn them. Good. And then flip your hands over and do the same thing. Try to turn them over. Excellent. Five out of five strength in all four movements of your elbows. So let's move on to your wrists. So with your wrists, I'm going to look on both sides. I don't see any erythema. The size looks the same. They are symmetrical and I don't notice any deformities. So now palpating. Do you have any pain or tenderness when I palpate your wrists? Great. It still feels the same uh, size and symmetrical. I don't notice any increase in warmth and I don't notice any deformities. So now we have uh, four movements that we're going to do for the wrist as well. So first thing I want you to do is I want you to bend your wrists like this. This is flexion. Put them up like this. That's extension back to midline. And then I want you to turn them inward. That is radial deviation. And then turn them outward is ulnar deviation. Okay. Now we're going to test strength in all of those as well. So if you can put your hands up um, into flexion and pull up against me. Good. Now push them up like this. I want you to push down against me. Great. Back to midline. I want you to turn your hands in towards my hands. Great. And then push out turn my, towards my hands like this. So um, you have five out of five strength in all four movements of your wrists. So the last one we're gonna look at is your, thing, your hands and your fingers. So looking at your hands, I don't notice any um, erythema, um, not that kind of erythema, <laughs> I don't notice any erythema. Um, size uh, also looks uh, symmetrical and there isn't any enlargement and there's no deformities that are noted. So now I'm gonna palpate, all right? So, palpating your hand and then down each of your fingers. Any pain or tenderness, just let me know because we need to do all 10. <laughs> and so there's no increase in warmth uh, in the hands and uh, size is still the same and they are symmetrical and I don't notice any deformities. So now we've got two movements that I'm gonna have you do with the hands. So if you can Put your hands in like this. So this is adduction and then spread your hands out like this, your fingers, that's abduction, all right? So now to test strength on that, I want you to make a fist and then try to open your hand. Great. And then I want you to uh, spread your fingers like this. I'm gonna put my two fingers in by your thumbs and then I want you to go ahead and close and squeeze my hand. Good, okay. Um, 
any pain when you're doing any motions. And that is five out of five strength for those two particular um, assessments. So because we are focusing on your upper body, that is where we would end this particular part of the assessment. But I also want to um, ensure that I am verbalizing and demonstrating how to do movements called eversion and inversion. So down at your ankles, what I'm going to have you do is I want you to take your feet. It's hard for me to kind of show. So I'm going to have you turn like this. This is inversion and then back to midline. And then this way is eversion. So any um, issues with that? Okay. So now that um, I have shown you, I just want to go back to um, testing strength in those areas as well. So that's the movements. But then what I want you to do is I want you to go ahead and push towards my hands and then put out toward my hands. Great. Um, so we've done that. And then there's one more specialty test that I want to test on your spine. So if you could lie back for me. All right. So I'm going to do something called a straight leg raise. And what I want you to do is just allow me to keep your knee straight. I'm going to move your leg for you. And just tell me if you start to have any pain in your back. Good? Okay. Let's just do the other side. We're testing for some sciatica. We're all good? All right, great. So you can go ahead and sit up. So... I didn't find um, any abnormalities with doing the assessment of your upper body and your upper extremities. And if I did, I would just let the provider know of what my concerns were, what abnormalities I found, and I'm going to document my findings. Okay.